forgive me if I kind of like nerd out on this a little bit. Um, this is something I kind of just recently discovered since I started using this um, OSFO here. I know I did another video on it doing uh, some rust prevention or rust removal, I should say, on that fender. Uh, well, I only had a small amount of it, so I went and bought a gallon because uh, I knew I had a bunch of more parts to do, you know, for the Datsun. And um, I just did a little experiment, and I'm sure there's probably a lot of people who already know this, <laughs> but this is something I'm just now discovering. So I wanted to share it just in case, you know, like if you work on old cars or anything like that, and you've got a, like a bunch of bolts that aren't, they're kind of crusty and rusty, and they just don't look nice. Uh, you know, this, this could help you and maybe, you know, save you some money uh, on purchasing new bolts. Uh, you know, like I know that there's a company out in California who sells like bolt kits for 280s and 240s and, you know, like just a whole bunch of bolts that you can buy brand new to, you know, dress up your car to make it look better. Because obviously you look at the, the old bolts that came off and they just look... I mean, look how rusty they look, you know? They just look really just nasty, right? So I went ahead and just did an experiment and I put pretty much just put all these bolts in a bucket. Let's see here. Now this is not all the bolts. This is like, I've, I've been doing like little batches at a time because I originally I just wanted to try it. And I'm gonna put these in there too, cause look, that's got rust on it. So, sorry for the lighting in here. I know it's not that great, but. So, stick it in there. And then I, I don't fill this up because I wanna be able to fill, put the, you know, the chemical in there up to that line there, like number three. So, let's go ahead and do that. Just get it just up over there so you don't use too much of it. And you can see right away, look what it's doing. Okay, so what I do is I go ahead, grab the lid, put the lid on it so that it, you know, doesn't boil out or cause fumes or anything like that. But what I what I what you got to do is not like seal the lid because if you seal it, it's going to start ballooning up because of all the gases. So I just kind of put it on there loose. Okay. Uh, so now let that sit overnight. Now this is two batches I've already done. So let's take a look at these. Okay. I mean, look at the difference of how brand new it looks. This is what they come out looking like. Now you might be wondering what is all this like wetness on here. This is actually uh, WD-40. So when you do this, uh, once it comes out of the acid, you, you need to uh, like clean it with, I used um, just some basic brake cleaner, and then you need to, to put it, put like an alkaline on it, which WD-40 is an alkaline. It's, uh, it's like the opposite of acid. So you soak it in that. So what I've been doing is pretty much just putting it in a bucket um, and then kind of just coating it all with um, WD-40. So anyway, I mean, this bolt here was like totally rusted out and I'll show you, let's go over here. I'll show you some, oh, here they are, right here. So yeah, that, those bolts were totally rusted out. Uh, let's see if I have them. So yeah, so anyway, here's here's one that is like the threads have rust, the head of the bolt has rust, the washer has rust, uh, and that's what this looked like, okay? Now, you can tell, I mean, look, it's just all gone. All that rust is gone, and it leaves like, like a black oxide finish. 
It's really interesting. If you look at, I mean, it's a big difference of what these all look like, okay? I'm trying to get this in the light so you guys can see it better, but. It really leaves like a nice black finish on it and they all look brand new. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, it does work. And what I've been doing is what I'll, um, you know, like once this stops bubbling, like after an hour or two, it'll, it'll kind of slow down its bubbling. You can look, you can see all the black stuff already coming to the top and it's just working. I mean, it's like really, really going to work. So, oh, also these were like super rusty too. These are actually the parts that hold the sway bar on. Um, and these were just totally rusted out. They look pretty much brand new now. And this, this acid doesn't, it's really good. It doesn't attack anything rubber. It doesn't attack anything plastic. Um, I had a piece of, I think this, yeah, this is the, Oh, what is this? Like, um, it's not a choke pull, but you know, you use it to pull to open a vent on the Z and this is plastic and I accidentally put it in there and didn't do anything to it. So it's totally fine. This was a, a rubber gasket, um, uh, that I accidentally threw in there and it's totally fine too. So it doesn't, oh, and, and a plastic clip, look at that plastic clip. I just kind of like was just dumping stuff in there and doing it. I probably should have separated some of the plastic stuff, but um, yeah, I mean, it's a good experiment. And um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here. I'm not sure what it is, but um, yeah, they all look brand new. All the washers, I mean, look at that. It gets every bit of rust off the washers. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way that came out and it's gonna save me, you know, hundreds of dollars. I mean, I know they had a bolt kit, which is not even complete for like 300 and something. And you know, this gallon was like 30 bucks, $35, something like that. And uh, pretty much I'm gonna have all basically new hardware. I mean, you know, I mean, if you have a, a bolt that is, you know, so rusted that the threads are gone, then obviously, you know, you're not, it's not gonna fix that. Um, but it, it really does do a good job. I mean, let me just do a, like a side by side here of two different, two of the same bolts, you know, you can really see the difference. Some are worse than others like this. This is like a fender screw, I think, which, um, is kind of exposed. So we'll see what happens with that one. Um, but there's just a lot of corrosion. And yeah, takes it all off. So uh, yeah, let me let this sit and I'll kind of show you guys how this one comes out. Um, like I said, once this starts to slow down, you can see it starting to slow down. What I did was I would give it a shake. Like I would seal it and shake it up and then let it sit again. Uh, and then it kind of reactivates it and starts digging at the other rust. So maybe it breaks loose some of the rust and then it attacks the rust under that. So yeah, I, I think it's gonna work and um, hopefully it'll help someone out there that is you know, rebuilding an old car. Um, I never thought of doing this until I uh, messed around with that fender and was, was able to get like that rust really gone on it. So. Uh, yeah, I just want to share, share that with you guys. Hopefully it helps someone. Um, I'll give you a little update on the Z. We're doing, uh, I'm, I'm really close to being able to get this off of the rotisserie uh, because there's parts back here that I can't get to. Like I want to be able to get to this whole balance back here uh, with body work and all that and finish stripping it, but I can't because this bar's in the way. Uh, but yeah, the complete underside of the car is, um, let me flip it up. Okay, so we got it flipped up and I just wanted to kind of show you guys under the car. Uh, got most of it undercoated. Uh, I'm still not done up here. I need to undercoat up into the wheel wells and up under the frame rail here. Pretty much anywhere a rock can hit it. So anywhere a rock could possibly hit your car, you want it undercoated. So, 
and the gas, the uh, fuel cell is actually not, that's not undercoat. That is actually truck bed coating, okay? Because truck bed coating is, is a little bit tougher than just, ba just regular undercoat, okay? I wanted something that's really like strong to where if anything comes and hits this, it's like hitting the bed of a truck, basically. So I put like three coats on here. So it's pretty thick and uh, I think it'll be pretty strong. So yeah, hopefully that works out. Uh, I still need to do, I got some fuel system stuff I ordered uh, and I need to plumb the fuel lines and see where all that goes and all that. But uh, yeah, like, we're, like I said, we're just about ready to get this off the rotisserie though so I can get to these other parts over here. Um, got the fuel filler all situated. Um, this is gonna be in this area. And then I uh, built a stainless uh, tube that goes into the top of the tank. So we can use the factory filler uh, instead of having to open the car and you know make like a door here so that I can fill it. Uh, we're gonna be able to fill it right through the factory uh, location. And this is the tube. I'm not done with it yet. Uh, I might have to go get some more argon because I need to back purge this and weld it all up. But this fits right in this spot here and uh, connects to here and then comes over here and connects to there. So um, it'll be exposed, you know, you'll see it, that stainless tube, but I think it's gonna look kind of cool, kind of, um, I don't know, like kind of just like hardcore kind of racy looking to have the tube coming over here, nice all TIG welded and all that. And then I may do like an X brace here. And um, yeah, I mean, this car, is not gonna be like um, a full original restoration. It's definitely gonna be like a resto mod. It's gonna look, you know, it's gonna be my own little um, spin on, you know, what this car is gonna look like. So still have some more sanding to do and get this all primed in here. But uh, part of the reason I'm priming it as I go is because you know, you'll start getting rust, like I was talking about on the bolts, like flash rust. So if you get an area like where you got it all, you know, uh, prepped and ready to go and sanded down to bare metal and it looks good, throw some primer on it. Uh, it doesn't hurt, you know, you know it's, it helps keep it from rusting. So uh, I've done that there, I've done the uh, engine bay. Still some stuff over here I'm working on. Um, Obviously, you know where the battery goes on these, they get rusty. So, I mean, the rust is all taken care of, but I just, I wanna do body work to make it look good. So, so anyway, um, let's take a look at these uh, bolts again. Uh, sorry, I, I chose the uh, darkest place in my shop to do this video, but I just, I was doing it over here because it keeps it, you know, all the chemicals away from the paint, um, even though I'm kind of close to this car, but yeah, that's race car stuff. Anyway, uh, let's check out, uh, after about a half an hour here, let's check out and see what it looks like. Wow, that's just 30 minutes. And look, I don't know if you guys remember or not, maybe I'll see if I can put a little clip in of what it looked like before, but this was just totally rusty all through here. It looks like it's, it's kind of stripped off the zinc coating too. So yeah, it's definitely stripping off the zinc. So I don't know if that was a mistake or not. Oh, well, uh, let's see what a bolt looks like. Wow, look at that. This is only 30 minutes, guys. I mean, I don't know why this won't focus. Look at that. That's after just 30 minutes. There we go. All right, that looks good. So maybe I don't need to soak this overnight like I, I was, I've been doing, like. Oops, let's see this one. Yeah, this one still needs some more time. Um, you can see, it even takes the paint off too. So there's some like green paint. And uh, yeah, on these other bolts, it, it pulls the paint right off of it, so. Um, We'll go ahead and leave them in for, you know, like I did the other ones, leave them in overnight. And uh, 
But yeah, I mean, it definitely works and it'll save you guys some money. Okay, so anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you that, just a quick video on um, kind of restoring old bolts if you're working on an old car. Uh, it may help you save some money on having to buy new hardware and all that, because that can get expensive if you just like try to replace every single bolt to make it look perfect. Um, that's an option. So anyway, that's gonna do it, guys. Check you out later.